a washing. Last week in the Living Soap, Spider and Colin fell out over bin bags. It's been like really bloody mood, eh? But when our drama lovey Colin was given a new look by me, Spider got the last laugh. <laughs> Nadia lost a modelling job and had a financial crisis. I have extremely big, big overdraft at the bank and I don't think I'm going to get through Easter unless I get a job. She tried and tried and tried, but there was nothing going. The poor girl was also behind in her work, and it all ended in tears. She said that you, your problems aren't convincing and we're not going to mark your essay, which means I fail. This last week of term has been a rough one. I've been on rugby tour to Ireland, and we've been singing and shouting so much that I've lost my voice. I'm battered and bruised all over, but at least I scored. As for the others, they began their week as they meant to go on. Half past eleven in the morning, and where are they? Mummy! Sam, you didn't make me breakfast in bed this morning. I'm too little. It's very nice. It's very healthy. It's, very healthy. it's, very healthy. it's my underwear. Do you mind taking it away? Please? No. My well, where is it? Is it offended in you or something? Nearly bit me. <laughs> where is it? Oh, well, that green one. Yeah. It must have slipped down, Mark. Yeah. I'll have to put it on. Take them away, will no, you please? Because they're drying, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll dry them in your room. Yeah. You're only doing it for shop value. You leave them be. Don't be so cruel to them. They haven't done anything to hurt you yet. They are offensive. The underpants saga continued all day. Don't you have any right to criticise my underwear, Mark, if you wear things like that, really, do you? What, your thongs? At least they're sexy. Unlike well, those. It really depends on your taste. Mm. Are they silk? Satin. Are they really? Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. Presents. I suppose it feels nice against your flesh and gives you sensations, doesn't it? Unlike my Asda ones. Well, no, I just keep my jeans clean. Why do you spatter? It's none of your business, what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to ask a few times. Note that they're going upstairs into my room. That's splattered all over the, the uh, living room and kitchen. Don't talk to me about spattering time. Mark after your little performance yesterday, probably. Are you calling me incompetent? No, I'm calling you something quite if No, I'm, I'm only joking, Mark, don't worry. Do I take it outside? Take it wherever you want to. You are anything for a smutty little double <laughs> entendre. Anything at all. <laughs> Julian Clare. <laughs> Except that he said he's funny. Oh, dear me me. Oh. Oh, oh well, what a put down that was! Down. Right, I'm not going. I'm not playing rugby oh, with you back, now. Come back out of there. Go on. After my many problems last week, everyone's been really kind to me, and some have even sent me letters of support. But I'd just like to say, don't worry, everything's all right now because I've got a job. Yes, Nadia's got a job in a jean shop. Her first day was all about training, where challenge number one was shirt folding technique. Challenge number two, customer service. Then I'm a customer and I've just walked in and somebody's already tried to approach me. Don't go up and say exactly the same as what another member of staff has said, like, um, is it Ginger looking for? Yeah. Um, a good thing to say, really, I'd, I'd probably say, go up to him and say, um, is anybody looking after you? Or is it Ginger looking for? Right, what would you say to me? Can I help you? <laughs> no. Is that a basic? Yeah, that's a basic no. Right. Right, OK. Is it Ginger looking for? Yes, it is. So, what time... What, what time... What style of jeans? Um, Something like what I've got on.
back at home, Spider and Colin continued to bicker. All I'm saying, Colin, is that you've got a problem in that you can't do, you can't talk and do something else at the same time. You don't, you don't get anything done. When I wanted to do it, do. when I wanted to do the hoovering, you didn't want me to do it because you were watching that stupid television you don't, program. All you had to do was was do the hoovering, and you didn't, you couldn't even do that. I told you, I just told you now that I wanted to do the hoovering, but you, had but to you didn't want me to do it. I hate you, Colin. <laughs> I don't hate you because that's a bit strong, <coughs> but I dislike you intensely. Why? Because you irritate me. Do you think you don't irritate me? You're very grumpy. I probably do. The... No, but you're very grumpy at the time. You should really lighten you up. I, fi um, I think I, I don't really need you to tell me to lighten up. I think I need to do what I want. You need to be less critical and go to more studenty places. You're a bloody student, f so can't you? At the end of a long day, Nadia did a spot of self-assessment. Just sold a few pairs of jeans and stuff. It seems like it's working out. But, um, you just want to buy them without yeah. trying them on? Yeah, Are you sure? Yeah. I wondered why you were looking at me when I took them back, and I thought you said you didn't want to try them on. Shit. And men as well. They just uh, need a bit of advice on co colour coordination. I think. <laughs> the maroon would go with the brown. Too, yeah. Or what about the copper one? No, too bright. The maroon. Is that too? Yeah. I mean, that looks fine with brown. Yeah. Well, you're not bothered about them being different colours? No, no. As long as you've got the customer care bit right, then I think you're on a win. I'm doing this completely wrong, but never mind, it's only taking it home. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Bye. Surprisingly enough, Colin and Mark get on quite well and went to our local for a spot of male bonding. Can you be shaman lemonade? No, I think I'll have sweet cider. I'll find a Guinness and a plate of sweet cider. Sweet cider for him. I've got snot in this nostril, wait one minute. Can you stop doing that? Your girlfriend, you were going to tell me about her. Your ex-girlfriend, sorry, why? Why did you spit it Oh, no. Yes, why did we? I don't know, it's really just because... We've been going out for, like, a month and a half before um, I went away to Jamaica and And she kept on having her periods whenever like, I was in the mood. But I was too... Is it leading somewhere? Yes, it is. Yeah, she's going to tell me why uh, you split up? Of course. Yeah. So when you finish, like, you're finishing your degree, aren't you, this year? You change the subject completely, then. You ask <laughs> well, I've, I've seen that you, you don't want to talk about se things sexual, do you? OK, we'll move on, then. become quite coy. Lovely girl, like spider. It's too serious. She is too serious, isn't she? Why the f*** doesn't she let herself go? Mm -hmm. She's just, it's oh. just... Sometimes it really, really frustrates yeah, well, why, why should it frustrate you? Know, I mean, it's different strokes for because different folks. Oh, you just, just, leave them, just leave it to her, just get on with your, right, because whatever she, you like. She is a lovely girl, but she's not giving people uh, a chance to get close to her. I mean, when you come to university... And also, she's come from a very close family. Right. Close family life. Are you going to let me speak? And it's, it's my turn, then. And if she would have no, taken, no, and if she would have taken a year off, Mark, then maybe she'd be a little bit more mature. Mark, I was going to say. No, that. I was going to say. No, I was going to say. I was going to say. She has ants and cockroaches and other crawling insects. How did you know you had ants then? Because I can't see any. <laughs> Because I had 21 ant bites on my back. You've got to tell me whether it's a garden ant or a big killer ant, okay? Oh, there's one! Where? There is! There's one! Yeah, let's go on and see if it dies. Oh my god! Where? Where? Look. Here, that's a big one! That's my hand you just played! <laughs> it's got all over my hand and it stinks, it's so awful, look! Yeah, uh, she's not supposed to inhale it. <laughs> got one, Nadia! You know why, Nadia? Because it's a mess. Well, look at it. I mean, look at all that food you've got over in the corner. Nigel, I've got no sympathy for you. <laughs> You're gonna, you deserve to have ants and worse in your room. Quite honestly. Think I was a slob. Well, that's funny because if you look at yourself, then you don't look like a slob, do you? You don't care about washing up for me, do you? No, I don't. But you can do it and teach you a lesson. Mark's got his medicine finals in two months' time and went to the first of a series of revision lectures. When you become uh, practitioners, you will, in fact, have to fill in a lot of death certificates and it's vital that you know how to do that properly. You don't put down the mechanism of death, i.e. the mode of dying. In other words, you don't put down things like heart failure or wasting. You must put down the disease process. I'll definitely and stay working uh, in the NHS um, because that's, that's where I trained and so I have to give it back. 
But then, I suppose views on private medicine are that if you have um, if you have people who can afford to pay and have their sort of private medicine sort of attention, then that means that they won't be a burden on the NHS, which is already underfunded. It was the last week of Mark's hospital attachment, so he and his fellow medics found out how they'd done in their assessments. I got full marks. Full marks? Yep, all tens. Ten out of ten? Yeah. I think I've got ten out of ten for anything, ever. Miss Tonya, come join us, have a seat. We're all it's rejoicing. Look, we're we're all rejoicing over Mark's glorious ten out of ten. You got ten out of ten? Yeah, no. Yeah. All of them. Where are you working first, anyway? Then? Wellington. Withington. Yeah. Good for. Jerry's and general medicine. That's unless they close it down, of course. Before I get there. No, it's got a few more years in it. Yeah. Not if Virginia has anything to say about it. She close it down one Saturday night Virginia. when it's when casualties flow. Sorry, everybody. I have to leave. Can't afford. Can't afford to keep you anymore. No, but in Virginia the... would be annoyed if you didn't, uh, you know, if you didn't have very sick patients because you'd no. be very, very no, sick and be very dying. Sick, and then they've got to complain. <laughs> nice idea if she actually got ill on a Saturday night and had to come in and wait for four hours and casually see how she liked it. Yeah, six hours. Eight, six hours. Six hours. Yeah, four <laughs> hours is a, a quiet night. Yeah. Have you seen the cast department? Yeah, yeah, they're digging it up. It's a building. It's a building. They're digging it up. Renovations. 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 Yeah, they're doing it on the paint board. The there's all these sick, <laughs> sick children and babies trying to get better, and they're drilling into the walls. <laughs> and everybody's like, these babies are going, <laughs> cracking up. So you coming tomorrow? Well, I do you want to go to your aerobics, actually. Yeah. Right. I taught eight classes last week, but I don't get paid till the end of term. So it's all right at the end so of term. So how much money do you like, earn during term time? Um, Probably about... 300 quid. <laughs> what are you going to do next year, though? Talk? How are you going to have time to, like, um, you know, study if you're going to have to know. be working? No, Same with me. Work. What am I supposed to do my work? I'm going to mm -hmm. have to go and see my course student mm -hmm. now. And my pank, I mean, I've called them for... They're being really good, actually. But the fact is, I just don't want them banging charges on, which they... Because I've rang up and explained... Well, they also... All the all the phones are complete liars, anyway. When you first go and open up a student account, they say, £400 interest-free overdraft and whatever. And if you actually try to get one, then they just completely yeah. turn you down. I mean, they, so wanted a complete, they wanted a complete list of everything that I was spending my money on. I had an argument with the manager on the phone because he goes, you shouldn't have bought, spent £100 on clothes then, should you? And I said, well, I actually needed to because a lot of my clothes were, like, really horrible. And <laughs> it's up to me what I spend my money on anyway. And he just, oh... Yeah... I'm sure that doesn't sound very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be quite a laugh. It'll probably be very easy as well. If it's just stepping up and down off things. Mm. I'm sure Annika's a very good teacher. I think he's going to have a lot of problems. If we can master the, the up, up, down, down bit, then fair enough, he can get some exercise. But I'm a bit worried because I just think he's going to find it difficult. I've had some guys who are pretty good, you know, they're okay, they're not too far behind in beats. Um, the general consensus of opinion is the fact that they're just crap. If someone's struggling, you know, you, you, don't, you can't ignore them. Don't, you don't single them out and say, oh, you, the pillock over there, mate, who can't do it, so everybody would look. Try and give them some alternatives. Did well, that's no, seriously so confusing. So don't even... Don't worry about it. It's very tiring though, isn't it? Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Does it, what does it actually do? Does it build muscles as well? Yeah, it's Because you've got big, big muscles, haven't you? <laughs> no, but you I have, haven't you, Annika? You no, but look. Yeah. Can I just see? <laughs> Can I punch you in your stomach? No. It wouldn't hurt you, would it? God. Well, hard. Excuse me, can I punch you? No, you can't. Friends? You can't punch me in my stomach. I'll, I'll crack out. <laughs> Back at the house, Emma was having a few problems with Sam. I don't like that. You do like it. Eat. Mm -hmm. That's your drink. What? Here. Well, why can't I have it? Well, wait till you eat some of your dinner and then you can have it. Mm -hmm. I'm so It's been like this all day. Yeah. Will you sit down, please, and eat your dinner? You haven't even tried it. How do you know you don't like it? No. Take that out now. I don't want my drink. Sam. Sam. Mm -hmm. Here I come. 
That's exactly where I want you, out of my sight. No. Out. Go upstairs. With my day doing that with him. It's horrible. Was he right after nursery? Yeah. Yes. My tree. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Oh yeah. These sharp bits here, instead of putting them in the eyes, you put them in there, right? I... Then you open your mouth. No! That is not the way to get out of eating your tea. No, it's not. Spider, do you know where the key is to the back garden? Find it, yeah. Right. Colin might be a clever boy, but he can be remarkably unobservant. Oh, my God. Is it there? Find it yet? No. No, I can't find it anywhere. What's that on, man? What's that on, man? What are you looking for? The key! For what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the thing off. Colin was attempting to sort out rubbish to be recycled, but what a surprise, he got bored. You know tomorrow you're going to um, Belfast, aren't you? Dublin first day. Well, Dublin. Dublin. You know you're not going to be here because my mum's coming up. Could she, like, sleep in your bed? Is she hygienic? I think it's more a question of whether you all have left her anything behind on the sheets. Oh, the sheets. sheets. You've changed the sheets? I can do. Would you? Well, that's nice. So would she be able to stay on it? You wouldn't mind. It's only going to be for one night and she's not smelly. OK. What are you doing? Recently. Wanna come? It's great fun. You probably didn't know this and you probably don't care, but as a medic, I've only got two days off for Easter. So I'm gonna be stuck here with this stupid croaky voice in this silly stripy room while the others swan off for five weeks. And even when they are here, they don't get up before one o'clock anyway. Mm. Morning. Hello. Hello. Morning. How are you? All right. Yeah, OK. Did you get that work done? Yeah. Oh, you did? I did some. I was too busy trying to kill my ants on the floor. Well, Didn't you supporter. miss some essays last year and your first yeah, year? Yeah, I missed loads. What did they say to you? said, we're not marking it. I mean, I said, I said um, oh, is there any way I can have an extension? And he goes, no, and, I, and he said, um, when's the next, that's why I said, when's it due? And he goes, in an hour and a half. So there was just no point in me trying to do it. So I just didn't do it, and I got a zero for it, but I still did okay in my exam. I got a first in the exam. If I've passed all my essays, give you, you a shot, No one can pick shot. you out during the years. Only if, if you do really, really badly in your exam. So if, if you've got, so I mean, if you get, like, under 40% in all of them, then theoretically, if you haven't given in any essays, then they've got no evidence that you've worked at all during the year, then they mm -hmm. could chuck you out. Nadia went in to see her head of course to find out if she'd still be a student next term, then told her friend Emma the good news. So what it's can all you do? sorted out now. That's right, as long as you've got your life in order. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm staying up in Manchester for next week yes. so I can work solidly without any distractions when everyone's gone home. Because and you're going to work? Yeah, I am. So Nadia buckled down to work alongside me and Colin, who also had deadlines approaching. Three essays for Friday. Out of five. Full of good intentions, Nadia went to the library but had a problem finding the right floor. Meanwhile, Colin and I sat and whinged. I just hate end of term anyway, because you're like. I know, but I if you know, really want to go I... out and have a good time, no, you can't I mean... you've got loads of work to do. Yeah, not so much. I always no. leave things to the last minute. Nadia found the right floor, but the books were a bit tricky. She should have asked Colin because, of course, he's an expert on absolutely everything. You've got to accept these days as well. A lot of tutors give you higher marks if it's more if presentable. It's, yeah, and if it's on, like, um, you know, printed paper, I'm sure if I wrote the same essay in, like, scruffy handwriting, I'd get a much lower mark for it. Yeah. I'm sure I would. Oh, yeah. 
depends on neat and stuff, man. Well, last year I copied, I like copied someone's essay that they got in handwriting. They got like sixty-two for it or something, and I typed the same essay. Hardly changed it at all. I got seventy-five. Really? Hiya. You've done your essay, number one. I went to sleep. So <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Well done. Two days into my rugby tour, and my voice was completely knackered. The tour is actually the highlight of my year and it was great to be back home in Northern Ireland. Remembering the obligatory pillowcase hat is just as important as remembering your kit. However, too much Guinness and not enough sleep have begun to take its toll on the usually unstoppable Manchester medics as we prepared to meet the might of the boys from Belfast. So what do I do? Try, Take these try, ones out? Take those ones out and try the new ones. Are they green ones? Yes. Colin's mum's an optician. Oh, they're quite the green, aren't they? Well, yeah. otherwise they won't change the colour of your eyes. Because my eyes are a bit dark, aren't they? That's the trouble. Oh. Is it? Please close your eyes <gasps> As tight as you can I'm trying so hard to act like a man, I gotta stand tall, at least I can try, so I don't want you to see me cry. They look exactly the same, don't they? Is that green? It's supposed to look naturally green. But I want to look like a creature from the deep. Put the light down. Well, but no, but I'm shining them up for you. Well, I can't see a thing. Well, shining the light your face. Shine. I want. <laughs> look. Yes, well, it looks green. Don't look like that. You look as if you're dying. I you're am. It's <laughs> agony. Well, then take them out. No, because it's worth it, isn't it? No, not it at all. It is worth it. Don't um, say you can't see any difference, because I'm also off screen. I so, think there is a difference, but I can't really see it. Look under the light. Let me just let me turn the light on. Well, that's a good light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look nice. Can you see? Yeah, do you they, can. Do they look very green? They don't look very different, but once you notice that, once you realise they're green, they look they're green. They're supposed to look naturally green. <laughs> Are these, like, really green? Are your eyes green? Stick your head in there. No, they're blue. What? They're not blue, they're green. They're, no, they aren't. They can't. They must be green, because she's got <laughs> my green contact lens. Stick your head in there. They're called you're elegant. Gonna, you're going to watch us now. Ugh, no, they're weird. Over in Belfast, the Manchester medics were psyching themselves up for action, and Mark's parents had come down from Bangor to support him, so the pressure was on. I play right wing. It's a fantastic position to play because you don't have to get into too much heavy work. Just catch the ball and run away with it. Rugby players play a game that uh, requires skill and talent and uh, is basically a great game. And <laughs> Footballers kick a ball about a pitch. <laughs> it's just not tidy, right? Fell to pieces after five minutes, right? First five, ten minutes was good, and then it just fell to pieces. But we have to stop them from cheating, OK? We have to play tidy rugby. It's the only way to do it. Try. Shame it didn't count. They lost the match 10 22, but his dad was sympathetic. When it came to his mother, though, it was a different story. 
just threw that match away. I did. Well, I had good fun. It's good fun. You threw it away. Back in Manchester, Colin and his mum talked about Mark. Mark's very nice. I'm quite surprised that I get on with him, actually, because he's, like, really rugby -y. But he's nice. He does all the washing off. Well, um, and he does I should think the, um... hygiene comes into it a little bit. Yes. Mm. He's just been circumcised. Really? Why? For hygiene. And also because, uh, apparently, in rugby, then they tackle... Oh, I see, yeah. ...in that area or something, and it hurts. And it's very dangerous you could get. Is he all right? Is very painful when you're yeah, it was very painful. He only had it done two weeks ago. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be very embarrassing. Isn't it? I always do that. No, I have... I've got a problem. You've got a problem? You've got lots of problems. No, but that's one of my biggest problems. Excess women. <laughs> You know, you are a poser, and sometimes it, it, it's a little bit too much. You don't fit over yeah. the top. But that's what, that's what you're like, so how do you think um, you come over? Well, how do I think I'll, I'll come over in the present? Um, well, I'm quite happy I think with you're it. better off without hair extensions. I think it makes you look a bit effeminate, and I don't really like that. The hair is so much So a couple of people have thought that you were a bit sort of uh, a bit of a Nancy boy, shall we say? <laughs> Gone very quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can answer that question. No, really, if anyone wants to form their impressions of you just from watching you for half an hour, then that's their lookout. I think it they doesn't want to, they want, badly they want to know if you are or not, you see. I'll just tell them I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not. Over in Belfast and 17 pints later, they were still coming to terms with defeat. <laughs> Your mum wasn't very impressed with us. They were just looking for me. Rugby? She said that was her first game she'd been to in Jordan's It was a very scrappy game. <laughs> My throat is so sore, I've been singing for three days. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was a, a stereotypical uh, rugger bugger. No, I wouldn't think so. We do have a tendency to strike up a song every now and again, and maybe I am, I suppose. But I don't, I don't know. Any other person playing rugby would see this and go, no, he's not. He's not half as hard as I am, but you're yeah, probably right. The worst for wear, Mark was given a drinking fine for fraternising with the ladies. Surely not. I'm coming home, I'm coming home to your house. I'm coming home, I'm coming home to your house. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. be an update on what the living soakers have been up to at the end of the summer term. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mummy. Night, Nad. Night, Annika. Night, Spider. Good night, Mark. And can we have a little less noise, please, tonight, Mark? Because oh, Colin, shut up. <laughs>